I bought this brand new 2023 Bronco and we put 7,000 miles on it. Is this a $55,000 piece of junk? So before I go into the five things I hate about this Bronco, we're gonna go in our next video on upgrading it to make it more off-road capable. Lift, tires, bumpers. Make sure you subscribe. And now let's get into the five things I hate about this 2023 Bronco. It's our daily driver, we take it off-road. If you're thinking about buying a Bronco or even getting a new 2024 Bronco build, pay attention to this and learn from my mistakes. These are the stock tires that come with the Sasquatch package. They're Goodyear Wranglers. They're a 17-inch rim and a 35-inch tire. But what I hate about it the most is if you look in here, they just pick up rocks like crazy. And I hate throwing rocks, especially when you're driving all of a sudden, you're da -dunk, da -dunk, drives me crazy. Plastic bumpers, they're ridiculous. The Bronco is supposed to be your off-road rig, not a pavement princess. And yet they come with plastic bumpers. This is ridiculous. Now there are tons of modifications and upgrade bumpers that you can do, but you think that they would at least give you a metal bumper since it's their off-road vehicle. And to top off these plastic bumpers, they have a plastic skid plate. Again, off-roading, if you hit a rock, no way this is gonna stop if you roll over a log and a branch goes through. It's gonna puncture this plastic pretty easy. And where are you gonna put a winch? Like, there's no spot here where you can legitimately put in a winch. You're gonna have to upgrade the full bumper just to get your winch in here. This is an off-road vehicle. You take it down, you're going on a dirt road. These cloth seats just collect dust. Go with the upgraded leather or the vinyl. It's gonna be, you're gonna be a lot more happy. I mean, just look at this. If you're thinking about building a 2024, the thing that is a love-hate relationship about this soft top is I love being able to just drop it down when it's cool and if it's raining, I, ha I have the ability to throw it back up. But if you're gonna build a 2024, it's only a $2,000 upgrade to get a hard top put on this and then you buy an aftermarket soft top where if you buy an aftermarket hard top, you're looking at $6,000. There are some that are a little cheesy for $5,000, but that's a five to $6,000 upgrade aftermarket versus $2,000 from the factory. The other thing, if you are gonna build a 2024, make sure you do the upgrade and get the auxiliary switches right here. If you're like me, we've had this, put 7,000 miles and now we're wanting to put light bars on it, we're wanting to put a winch and I have no switches up here. Instead I have a, a sunglass case that I'm not even gonna use. So make sure you spin the extra and get the auxiliary switches put in right here. So one of the things that I hate is if I just want my window down to get fresh air in here and I hit a light bump, it rattles and it sounds like the window's getting ready to break. Although I love the ability to throw the top back whenever I want on a soft top without having to store things, I don't like the fact that I'm only going 50 miles an hour and I can barely have a conversation with you because of how much noise it is. This is probably the biggest complaint I have about the soft top is the amount of noise that comes in. On top of that, it's just a thin layer. So in the hot sun, it just gets so hot and I have to turn the AC on full blast just to be able to keep myself cool. And the people in the back are complaining because there's no rear air vents. For your 2024 build, something I would definitely have is a sway bar disconnect, your front locking differentials, your back locking or your rear locking differentials. Those are must haves if you're gonna use this as an off-roading vehicle. If you're gonna be a pavement princess, don't even think twice about it. But if you wanna take it off road and you wanna see the full potential, make sure you have a sway bar disconnect. And that's one thing that I'm having the hardest time finding an aftermarket sway bar disconnect for this Bronco. Thanks for sticking around for this. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Not only did we talk about the mistakes, but we're also gonna go and give you a video on what we would recommend if you're looking at building a Bronco in 2024.